Cloudy and patient, probably very uncomfortable today for the ambassadors of the Zodiac. We've got a full moon this morning in Cancer, putting a full dose of emotional intensity around your soul capital, your self-esteem, your productivity at work, your productivity in life, and your ability to manifest reality. So you're very emotional about your potency when it comes to your productivity and value structure. But remember, a full moon is an opposition, a tug of war, and today the sun is at 29 degrees. Now the 29th degree is the tested degree. This is a degree where you get tested into old boundaries, all right? Old boundaries. You've spent one month examining where you begin and someone ends, all right? The boundary between you and others, the boundary between you and yourself, what you will open up to, what you won't open up to, putting blocks on yourself, uh, opening up to the universe, all right? Opening up to receiving or closing down, putting up boundaries where it's appropriate, energetic boundaries. So a whole month of examining boundaries and today your soul capital gets irritated and that tests if you can hold those boundaries. Now if you slip into the old boundary, if you let that person get to you, if you don't open up on your date even though you promised yourself you would, if you don't pull it off, don't judge yourself. You don't want to judge yourself on a full moon because the emotion is going to go too far. It doesn't help you at all anyways. But pay attention. How'd that weed get in your soul garden? Go close that soul garden gate. Take note and learn from the experience. Now in the second half of the day, you're going to find that you're quite argumentative or extremely pensive because that full moon shifts into Leo, shifting all that emotional energy and testing into your brains. Okay, so the dual processors are going to be processing at a rapid pace this afternoon. You probably don't want to have a conversation with the person that betrayed or crossed the line, if that's the case. And you probably want to refrain from any communication until tomorrow. But you will be thinking about it the second half of the day. And Jupiter, also testing Geminis in their career for the next few days. Jupiter, also at 29 degrees. Jupiter moves into Aries for good, or at least for the next 12, uh, well, moves into Aries for the first time in 12 years, next Monday. And when that happens, you're going to be out of the career issue. You've been working to expand your career, expand your legacy, expand your ideas of what you can do on the planet, how you can uh, have or leave a mark on the planet. So your old career plan or your old career woes might trigger you between now and Monday. And that might even add into your self-esteem and boundary issues. Okay, If you let your career get to you, that's a boundary. Why are you letting it get to you? Because you don't feel valuable at work and you're being tested not following the old workspace. So the three are really all working powerfully together today. And I think that if you can just make it to tomorrow and make it in your career till Monday, we're good. We're golden. And it's Wednesday. I've got Skip Jennings, Urban Mystic, going live today. He's doing the first chapter of Sun in Aquarius, our next transit. He's going to get deep on what aqua is. He's going to talk about uh, how to put a positive spin on the aqua values and give you a seven-day challenge. So start tomorrow's transit today by watching Skip Jennings. All right, Gemini, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow we start Aquarius. Until then, live, love, be. So...